Hey guys, it's Ian with Ohio Power Tool and we have brought in Dean with Emerson Professional Tools covering Greenly and Rigid. Yes, and sir. we are here today to talk about some of the Rigid smaller cameras. Now, Dean, I've heard they've done a few revamps on these here. One thing we've done is we consolidated our camera. So with the smaller ones, there used to be a dozen of SKUs there. Yes. And we have condensed it down just to four now, yes. correct? We have a micro wheel, a micro drain, a nano, and then the one, uh, the micro that takes the CA350 camera. So the micro reel CA. CA. You know, the biggest question I always get is, which one should I buy of the three? And I always throw it back to them as to what is the job that you are doing. Yeah. So starting with the micro reel, the, the largest of the small, you know, we have capacity to do inch and a half up to three inch, even four inch. Now. Yes, yes, and it's a hundred foot. So this is your biggest one of our many ones. And then you're gonna drop down from there. It's got the biggest camera, it's got the longest reel. So then you'll go down to that one, which is gonna drop down five millimeters in camera size. It's gonna drop you down in size on pipe too. So you're only gonna go to about three inch in that one. And then you would go down to the Nano, which is gonna be really for your specialty stuff. That is your small one. If you're gonna be anything in below an inch and a quarter, that's the one you're gonna want because of its flexibility and its size. I'm being told you guys have added new technology to both the micro reel and the micro drill. Yes, we've added our APX technology, which now gives you true sense. So it's going to give you your inclinometer. It's going to give you your footage count out. Now we have a uh, self-leveling camera in both of them as well, which we didn't used to have. We have our HDR technology in these. So you got your high dynamic range. So it takes your highs and your lows of the dark and the light and mixes them to give you the very best picture that you possibly can get. We also added the kickstands to both of them now. That comes standard. That used to be a optional accessory you could put on them and the really nice thing about that is if say you want to not use a monitor and you want to use a via in either one of these you can simply pop this out pop your via in and now you can use a via in this configuration and not have to worry about the via actually resting on anything. What have they changed to make it easier with the CA350? Well, we still have one model that comes direct with this. Also saying if you have a CA350, if you buy our new one and somewhere down the line you want to tow to a monitor, you can simply change out the cable by a monitor and you can take that same camera and you can use it with a regular monitor or a CA350 just by changing the cables. I think that'll make it a lot easier because I can't tell you how many people who called me and said, hey, I brought this it doesn't fit to my monitor and it's yes. okay well that's because we got to switch out cords do all that fun stuff but i think consolidating and just having the uh, the adapter cord for that will make it a lot easier it's going to make it easier for everybody in the long run also it's going to tell you how far out you've gone you also can zero that now so if you go down and you you know you're going out at you know three or four feet down and then you're going to 90 out so they've taken a lot of the true sense technology from the larger the reels. reels have started putting them into the smaller ones all of them are in it now now yes. what capabilities do you have going to the the smaller ca350 monitor with that you don't have any any of that really with that you're just uh the only thing you can do really with that one is your standard stuff that like your old reels and you learn that uh the extra technology in here will get you a lot farther uh, especially once you move into the bigger reels is most guys introductory level are starting with the micro reel and then are working their way up absolutely. now when we start going down that's when you're starting to get into more specialty jobs absolutely it, correct and you know like our nano our nano is so small now um you can get down all one inch tube so if you're doing boiler tubes or you're doing small stuff yeah because i will say you know comparing the the nano to the micro reel much more rigid cable so if you're doing larger i would definitely go with the uh yeah the micro reel and then the nano is going to be for your your small specialty uh, applications. And we have put a, uh, on here, you see the yellow here and you'll see the yellow here. This tells you exactly how flexible the cable is. So this one is a mid flex. So you'll get, you know, you get plenty of flexibility going through your 90s and so forth with these. And that tells you, that way you can know what you're getting when you're on these too, when you look at them. We did add to all of these where you can pop these open and you can actually just change your drums out now too. So you can, the frame is the same. You just change your drums to mat for whichever insert you want, or if you're needing a new one, all you, you can just replace your new drum inside as well. So one big change that I did notice here is going to be on the back because you had mentioned earlier about how we can change out the interconnect cords. Yes. And before it was kind of a twist in style. You could see the whole board. You know, had a couple of instances where pins were getting broken because guys weren't more paying, paying attention, attention. When, they, when they were inserting that. So I did notice that we did change how the cord connects and more standard to the larger sizes yes. where it's just the, uh, I'm assuming it's just the three prong in it's here. It's the same three prong that we've always used. So yes. just like the others, you just twist that off, pull it, 
then put it in the new cord and you're set to go to, to change between monitors there, which I, th I think that's a nice, better design there. Doesn't open up all the, uh, the electronics Chronics on the inside. Yep. With our HQX Live app, we do offer updates because we're always updating these and making them nicer. All you need is uh, Wi-Fi. Do you know where you could find the, uh, the link? Uh, you just go to HQX Live and it will, uh, once you uh, connect, it will download any software updates automatically. You can set them up so they automatically download and then you just have to connect and then it'll take care of that. Oh, perfect. Okay, so you could you could do the full transfer just from your phone. I did it just about five minutes ago standing here. So, <laughs> yes, nice. it's, uh, it works out really nice. Perfect. Yes. Dean, thank you so much for taking the time to come visit. Thank and you. To talk about all these. Thank you guys for watching. Again, if you have any more questions, be sure to check out ohiopowertool.com or give us a call at 800-242-4424. Hey, you have a great rest of the day. Thank you. If you have any other questions, leave us a comment or give us a call or send us an email or write us a letter. Whatever you prefer, just get a hold of us and we'll help you out. If you're looking for even more content from us, subscribe to our channel or check out one of these videos here. Thank you for